The reading from 1 Samuel chapter 1. Now, when she had weaned him, she took them up with her, with three balls, one ephah of flour and a skin of wine, and brought him to the house of the Lord in Shiloh. And the child was young. Then they slaughtered a ball and brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as your soul lives, my Lord, I am the woman who stood by you here, praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me my petition, which I asked of him. Therefore, I also have lent him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be lent to the Lord. So they worship the Lord there. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Please stand for the responding canticle from the first book of Samuel chapter 2. Let our response be, My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. Together. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart rejoices in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. I smile at my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. Response. My heart exalts in the Lord is my The bows of the mighty men are broken. And those who stumbled are girded with strength. Those who are full have hired themselves out for the bread. And the hungry have seized the hunger. Even the barren has borne seven. A she who has many children has become feeble. Response. My heart is to the Lord. The Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and brings up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and lifts up. Response. My heart is to the Lord my He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the beggar from the ash heap to set them among princes and make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and He has set the world upon them. Response My heart is to the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And in your spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the to St. Luke, chapter 1. Glory to you, Lord And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowly state of his maid servant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of the heart. He has pulled down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. And he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. 
So as we continue in our uh, observance of Advent Watch in Bangabi, Misericardia, I believe and I choose to believe and I pray that somehow, somewhere, what we're hearing every morning would help, would help us to be a better, a better Christian. The examples of Mary, the people here, they are not Superman or Superwoman. They are like you and me. That's why there is no alibi that we can do it because there is a human being like us. The only difference there is to choose to rely, to trust, and obey God. That's why the working of God could be seen in them. Tonight, uh, this morning, in the life of Mary, a very famous line for Mary called Magnificat. We always recite this in our uh, uh, daily office of morning prayer. Magnificat. Canticle. That's why it's in that psalm. In our response to the responding canticle. And here, we could say about Mary. Song of Mary, as he said. It is a song of praise and thanksgiving from the heart of Mary for what the Lord has done for her and for his people. So there's a song in our heart. And it comes from the heart. And he sing this because he's filled with thanksgiving to God. See, one thing that I choose and choose to believe that will develop in our heart as we observe this Advent watch every morning is a heart of thanksgiving. Thankful heart. And the thankful heart comes from a humble heart. Because Mary is so humble, lowly. That's why a people who are always thankful is always humble because he recognized or she recognized that those things that have come or what have received comes from God. Everything that you have received comes from God. Yes, you are the one who make it, you are the one who work eight to five, you are the one doing everything, but always remember it comes to God. Our work, our business, it comes to God. It will never replace the place of God in our heart. Our business, our work, our school, it will never change because it comes from God. Always remember, maybe you are the one who is doing it. But strength comes from God. Wisdom comes from God. Favor comes from God. When I was a seaman, there's one line, one word of saying, Pare, katawan lang ang kapital mo bilang seaman. Pag ikaw magkasakit, tapos na. Ganun na kasimple. Hindi ka na makabalik sa barko ulit. Katawan lang ang kapital mo. At ang katawan na yan, galing kay Lord. Hindi atin. Bukot sa isaron na itong gawas. Pag yan bumalandra, walang spare parts yan. Hmm? Pero ato multi-cap, pinigit ang samat. Pero one day, ayos lagi. Bila mo na ng pyesa, salpa, andar mo, okay. Ay kita. Mahirap bumili ng, mahirap bumili ng heart. Mahirap bumili ng kidney. Mahirap bumili ng atay. Wala. That's why it comes from God. That's why 
Be thankful to God. And that thankfulness is expressed in what? Like Mary. Expressed in serving God. So a humble heart produces a thankful heart. And a thankful heart will always produce a serving heart. Why? Because our thanksgiving is expressed in worship. Our thanksgiving is expressed in our service. That's it because you have received a thank you, Lord. Hindi lang thank you. Your thank you is also expressed in serving God. That's one way of saying, why you are you here? Why should we? I want to thank God. That's why I'm serving the Lord. If that is one of the motives, even though, if, if I would say the very number one motive why we're serving God, because we're thankful to what the Lord has done unto you and me, there's no problem in our commitment. There's no problem because it comes from a thankful heart. There's always joy in doing it. Wa mo ginakotoring oras sa Dios. Because come from thanksgiving. You know when I realized this? When I was uh, operated in uh, appendix. I was uh, a seaman before and I was left behind in Japan. I'm only one in my room, no visitor except the nurse, and then sometimes they realize, katawan nga lang ang kapital mo bilang siman. Pag yan wala na, wala na. Tapos. That's why I have to be thankful to God for everything. Of course, and then to have to take care of our body. But being thankful to God always producing us a serving heart, like Mary. A thankful heart has produced a serving heart, but an obedient heart. Because I'm thankful to God. I'm thankful to God that I will obey God. Like Mary. To obey God, they will still understand what is happening because He's had a thankful heart. If you have a thankful heart, there's a joy in serving the Lord. To move on the oras, there was last night. Inatid ko yung mga bata pagkatapos ng practice. Masaya na sila, 9.30, 9.00, tapos na. Way back in liberty, yet at that time, army of the Lord, for our kind of life, sometimes it's finished 10, 11, 12, especially the last night, the Yosef, the Gersal, sometimes it's finished about 10, 11, 12, and I have to bring them home. So I always say to myself, I am the last man to sleep, first man to wake up. I have to wake up at 3 o'clock. I have to go home uh, because I got about, I said at 11 o'clock to send everyone with our old cimarron, praise God. He never failed me in the middle of the night. I can go home and sleep, but I cannot sleep right away. It could, I arrive home at 12.30, I could say about 1, then I have to wake up at 3. So what's the strength inside of me and my heart when I'm driving alone? Thankful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You have done so much for me. I remember when I was a uh, Nasiman, I was uh, operated, and the Lord has done everything good. That's why you still have the joy in doing everything because it comes from a thankful heart. And that's what Mary in his heart. That's why the song of Mary always reminds us to be thankful to God what the Lord has done to you and all of us.